Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I am so, so sorry it has been so long since the last uh, recording of this. It's, uh, it's all been a bit mad recently in the, in the wonderful world of my life. We had uh, some illnesses in the family. Both of my kids got chicken pox one after the other. My daughter especially got it really, really bad. Um, I've been under the weather for now for the last week. I ended up losing my voice a little bit. Uh, and I'm still a bit nasally now, so I apologise if you hear some sniffling and some coughing. I will try and remember to mute my mic every time uh, so that you don't get that down your ear holes. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'm on the mend. Hopefully things will return back to normal and we can get back to uh, getting some regular videos out again. And of course, last time out, uh, even though it has been a couple of weeks since I've um, loaded this one up and got going with it, we of course have started our Arctic expedition, if you will, our freeze our ice water fish or cold water fish are now going to begin to come into our aquarium we do have i mean two um uh, tropical fish left but frankly i'm kind of done with them we've we've got a lot of tropical fish in them at the moment it's a shame we don't have the ability to be able to see at a glance just how many fish we have in the aquarium um so yeah so we are now going to make a start on our uh, Arctic place and in the last episode we just finished making probably the, the most or comfortably the most unique um, Tank in the entire exhibit because it is hidden behind this wall here. So we've got effectively like a uh, In my mind at least it was sort of like a, um, a sunken ship with kind of these portholes on the side So once this all opens up our guests will come around here So they're currently over there uh, They will come around here and they will be able to walk all the way down here and they will see all these portholes on the near side so they'll be able to spy in. There's plenty of holes in which they can see into the tank from. Um, and then, of course, we'll start putting in some other stuff in and around it as well. Uh, and we're going to take them down this way and then we're going to bring them around. So we're going to have this middle area here, which is going to act as a bit of um, our next zone, if you like. Um, for our stuff. So first of all, we've got to work out what on earth is going to go into said tank. It's an only an 88 size, so it's not humongous. What can we put in there? Now, do we want a mix? Do we want some like a little small fish, load of small fishes? So they will grow up to size nine. We have six of them. That's going to be what's that? 54 in size. That's a good chunk of the uh, the tank already. I think we go for a whole bunch of smaller ones, you know. So we've got these Antarctic silverfish here. Um, oh, they like it in super chilled conditions as well. So that's a an extra facet we've got to be careful of. Is that we've also got we've got cold water and we've got super chilled. So we've got some fish that don't mind either. Like this Atlantic pollock over here can do both. What else have we got? Okay, we don't actually have that many, do we? We need to get some more uh, fish unlocked. Do we have any in here? Let's get rid of that for the time being uh we've got a lump sucker here we go would you be interested in yes i would because they look hilarious and they're quite uh they're armored they're reasonably straightforward to look after they do get to a reasonable size and they will do cold and super chilled as well so yeah we will we will take that common lobster for sale decline You've grown up fine. So yeah, do we have any? Let's just... Should we pause just for a second? Let's just go down to the bottom here. Do we have anything in here? So these are our... Um, what do you want to call them? Objectives over this far side here. So we have got this Atlantic Feather Style. Blind Cave Tetras. Captive Bread. Do we have Cave Tetras? I don't know if we do. I mean, the look, the look of the, oh, and the colour of the fish makes me think that they're probably not tropical fish. Um, so I'm going to say we don't have those at, at the moment. Um, Adolf's Corey, I've kind of forgotten about all that, haven't we? To revisit that at some point. Got some floating letters, we've got some lanterns. Oh, side jacks. Did we do this one? We did do that one, so we can get rid of get rid of that. I believe. 
Did we complete this? Have we got leopard sharks in the place? Don't think we do. I mean, it's not giving me any option to say, you know, yes or no. Just realised the um, the Odolf's Corey one. We've already got them in. Get rid of that one. No, I don't think we've done that leopard shark thing but it's not giving us any option to say that you know we can uh, we can accept it i'm not really sure we got it we do have quite the um the number of um oh we have got blind cave tetras there they are was that what we needed to do Would seem fairly easy. There we go. So that's that one done. And while we're at it, we need to uh, what the f oh okay. Jesus Christ, I had a heart attack. Then I thought they. I thought I just sold all of them. It's just because they're no they're no longer upset, are they? So it's no longer a problem. Right. What's up with you? Uh, it's missed its last feeding. Okay, that's why it's upset. Uh, as did you. It's missed its last supplement. These are just going to be... There's just too many of them as usual. And you haven't either. So we've got a few We've got a few little problems. Let's go and... Uh, let's go and quickly take a look. So the red tail catfish, I think, is in here, isn't it? Because they're huge. Yeah, there they are. They're in there. So they are about to be fed. Eat roach. Oh, is it because we don't have... Have we got roaches? Yeah, we go. Okay, we do. So that one I think is going to be okay. Uh, they haven't been given... Is, is it? Is it because there's just so many of them that need supplements? Ryan Shimp. They haven't been fed either. Okay, let's just let things roll along. And just see whether or not we... Uh, we get to a point because there's, there's loads of staff in there so they should really all be being fed so we're gonna wait so this one tank 30 with these ones okay they're now all sorted they're fine uh, we've got the stingrays which are in one of these tanks I believe oh they've been sorted as well so it's now just the catfish Have we just got too, too many large tanks where people have to make double trips? Okay, right. Somebody is now going to go to this. Is it you? Yeah, you, you're taking... There you go. So you're only carrying 50, but you need 62. Which means you've got to do a double trip. I'm not sure you're going to get two trips in in a single day and if we try and buy the uh the backpack it's ten thousand so basically one of them gets fed this catfish, I think, is going to end up starving because I think once this gets to five o'clock, it switches to another day. Please don't die. Two days of not being fed. And they're still only at half of their size as well. They're going to double, they're going to almost double in size. I think maybe it's only a problem. I think because the supplements are only th every three days, aren't they? Yeah. So I think it's only a problem when the supplements come along because so many of the animals require supplements. 
So yeah, they're, they're okay now. I th yeah, I think it's, I think everything's okay. I think we can uh, we can move along. Uh, right, back to this then. So we got that mega chiller. It's good to keep in mind we have those because we're obviously going to be needing those now. Um, we took those already. Those catfish. I just I can only think we've already got them. Just looking for the picture. Oh, we do. They're there. No. Is that the same thing? No. But it's not the same fish. I'm not entirely sure why it's not showing up there, so I'm just going to bin it off. Whatever. Uh, Peter, I'm assuming you're our talker, so you can do that. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. Uh, Picasso triggerfish. I think I have some of these. Do I not? Weird fucking looking things these are. Um, no. That one. I could have sworn we already had these. Because I'm sure we've unlocked them. Have I not got them in? I'm sure I've got them unlocked. I'm sure I saw it a moment ago when I was flicking through. There we go. Picasso trigger us. Apparently we have one somewhere. Oh, there it is. On its own in tank 10. Uh, right, where is tank number 10? It's going to be over here somewhere, isn't it? Is it in there? Is this because he doesn't like being on it, being with anybody else? Okay, well, we can do that, though, can't we? Um, why would I not have more than one in there of those? Oh, it's the... Okay, it's that, isn't it? Yeah. But we can at least have two, I think. Maybe not when they grow up. That might be that might be why we only have the one. Uh, right, Laura has leveled up. Give you cleaning. Don't care about that. And now the red tail catfish are now humongous. Okay. So we now have these oriental sweet lips. Which, again, I'm sure we already have these. Can we just sell them? If I do? Or am I lying? Do we not have them? Okay, no, it would appear we do not have them. Okay, well that's another fish at some point we can go back to. Right, okay, come on, let's get um, let's get cracking over here. So, back to the original question, which I posed about 15 minutes ago. Um, what are we going to put in there? Are we going to go for a big boy? Two big boys, two, two big bull husses? Or we're going to go for a bunch of little fishies. Actually, quite a lot of these fishies that we have, they're all quite large, aren't they? It's only really these Antarctic silverfish. Um, so maybe we could put some of those and those in there. Well, they're bullies, aren't they? They're going to eat clams and they need to be in a shoulder of six. What did I say? That was, that was 54. That's going to be 28. That together is ooh, 82. Do we have enough? I think we do, actually, don't we? Yeah, just. Okay, we're going to stick these in together. Let's just pause for a second. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because they don't get any bigger. Um, we could put them 
We could put 14 of them in there. Should we just fill it up with all of those? Because then we get more prestige points. We do that. But they do like to share the room with at least one other species. When they're fully grown, they'll eat animals one to six. That's not ideal. What can we throw in there to keep them company? Could put this weird ass lump sucker in there. So they'll grow to size. Could have two of those in there, couldn't we? There we go. Get the two lump suckers in there. Right, okay. Thankfully, not a huge amount of requirements needed. How on earth we're gonna get the um the extra bits in there? Can we just can we move that out of the way? Okay, we can briefly move that, that's good. Right, let's go and get those mega chillers that we had. Uh we will need a pump before we do anything else. Can't see anything. Right, there we go. Uh, we'll put that. We put that. Yeah, we'll put that flush against that. That's fine. Right, give me the mega chillers. So of course we need to make this one very, very cold. Uh, right, we can now bin that one off. Right, okay, so it needs to be... <laughs> okay, I think we're fine. That is literal... I mean, it's colder than ice, isn't it? That is beyond cold. Uh, right, we'll leave that there for a second, actually. Um, we don't actually need that many of those, do we? So we're going we're gonna to bin off that one. Can we bin that one, please? Get a bit of money back for it. Do we, do we even need... Don't even need that one, do we? Oh, well, we just sold two of those uh, things we had anyway. Never mind. Um, and then we will need... A nice large filter. Okay. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll take a mega filter then. There we go. Easy jobs. What do, is it that they need? They need rocks. So that's fine. Um, where are we? Put some stuff in there for them to... Uh... What can we stick in there to... Um... Oh, so a shell is a bit tropical, isn't it? Not anything in there that's... Uh... Potentially. Lovely. Okay, so that's that one done. And now we need to start filling out in here a fish fridge. Okay. We got we must have had one of those already at some point, I guess. Um so we are going to need krill. Uh, we are also going to need mussels. Let's get ourselves a tool station in here. Feeding stick thing. Probably going to need a supplement manual at some point. Now we'll take a sneakers dispenser. Flashcards we'll take as well, just in case it hasn't when we need it. Um, and then we will also need a broom stand and a sponge sink. We'll of course, need that. Let's paint that bad boy so the staff can move around within there. We can now move that back onto the top. So it is completely covered. 
And we are going to now allow people down. We are going to have to have some things along here, aren't we? Like so, because people are going to... People can't go more than three or, f three or four metres without dying of thirst or needing the toilet to be able to then double back on themselves. Um... What else have we got here? Do we want to, um... A cheeky, uh... Science poster can go there. Not a lot of room to walk through there, is there, to be fair. Uh, maybe we'll do that. There, like that, where it opens out a little bit. Uh, where else have we got? Put some put a guidebook stand down. Get all this good stuff in here. Might as well. And we've run out of money. Lovely old job. So both of our catfishes are now full size. Um... We are now going to quickly need to do a new zone, zone number five, zone number four. A bit can uh, can bugger off because that is effectively no. That's not what I meant. Why is Abdul in zone five? Mark all of that for zone 5 for now, because at some point that is going to uh, be required. Um, okay, thankfully I don't need to... Oh, you're good. You're good. Yeah, we'll take you. We'll take you as well. You'll be our fixer. You can be... Have we got anybody... I don't know for gift shops. Gift shop and cleaning with a bit of luck. Come on, give me both. No. Is the best I'm going to do. Best I'm going to do is one. Okay. Right. Okay. So all of you lot are going to need picking up and plopping over here. Don't get it, uh... Don't get it wrong, guys. It might only be one tank now. And this is going to be the start of something much bigger. So I don't think you're getting off light. Right, so you're going to be feeding. So therefore, don't do any of that stuff, please. Thank you. Pick yourself up a feeding stick while you're there. Uh, we're going to need a second feeding stick, aren't we? Just thinking about it. Of which we're not going to have enough money for, are we? No. At least we've got the stuff in there now who are... Uh, you can get cracking. I mean, there, I've just thought of something as well. There is one other potential um, issue that might crop up. Is the more and more stuff that we have in the aquarium, the more I'm asking this uh, computer to... Um, <clears throat> to basically, you know, the, the FPS is going to struggle is what I'm saying. Right, so you are my fixer. Okay, uh, what else have we got? You. You are my cleaner. Uh... 
And you can have the sneakers. And where is the fourth and final person? You're in there, aren't you? So it's you. I've already done you. Your skills are... You're my gift shop person. You're also a talker. Yeah, you are. So you, you can... I'll let you do the talking as well. Although, actually, for the time being, we're not going to need that, are we? So, that's fine. Right, so... You've got yourself a feeding stick. The other person who's good at feeding, I think, was... Could have swore. Who was the other person? I'm sure we hired somebody that was feeding three. So feeding five. How many people did we how many people did we hire for? Hmm. Get them all in there. I could have sworn I hired another person in the feeding who was good at feeding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you walk all the way around the the uh, aquarium. Right there we go. Okay, so that is the start of zone number five. Where is the next tank to go? Fuck me, we've got no money. Oh, we've been offered penguins. Oriental sweet lips is all we need to give them. Total prestige from modern art. Have you just come in and stolen my... She bloody has as well. Where is she going? Walking to vending machine 32 to fix. Oh no, have I have I overlapped the zones here? Who was it? Who was the girl? It was Sophia, wasn't it? So Sophia is in zone five. Please explain to me why she's currently on a lung busting mission. Oh, now she's now she's coming back. What the hell was all that about? Get back over here, dipshit. Okay, right, we need to let money build up again, unfortunately. Sandra has leveled up. Uh, right, what is going on over here? Why? Oh, this is now a problem because this tank is now... Um, they've out basically outgrown it. Look at the size of these. My God, they are huge. Okay. Uh, heats. Can we, can we do this? Shit, we don't have enough money. That was a really bad fucking idea. Um, 
Okay, we are. We could be in a spot above her here. I don't know how long it's going to be until these animals die. Probably, they probably have today, and that's it. So I need to get back in the uh, in the black very, very quickly. Right, we need to get to 250. We need 150s worth of. So that ain't going to work. How much is this? It's only 199, thankfully. It's not very much. Please don't die. Right. I'm going to add that back in. That sorts the heat out. It's the water quality that's the problem. But that's not going to kill... Well, it will eventually, but it, not, for the, not for the moment. It's not. I think... We do that. Can I then get a... That can't be placed in a freshwater tank. Okay. Is that enough? There we go. Okay. Whew, panic over. I thought I was uh, I thought I was in big trouble there. Why are you throwing litter on the ground? Is there no bins? There's a bin right there. Lazy prick. That's one thing I haven't actually got over here, have I? Any bins? Right, well, once again, we need to wait for the money to roll up, but we can start to um, build out our next area. And then the plan will be... As we've lost all our money again. Can't even afford a simple $20 wall. Oh, he's quite good. He's a nice looking, uh, nice looking job, isn't he? Uh, leave you there for now. Um, yeah, we need to block this off. So the idea will be is it will bring them around this way. I kind of want him to maybe have some tanks over here. So that's going to mean maybe extending this this way a little bit more. And then make them go up this way and around. And then back down maybe. I want to take them on a complete... I don't want to take them on a complete merry-go-round adventure, but we obviously need to... Uh, I mean, if we look at the... If we just take take stock here... We have taken them all over the bloody shot up to now. So we could go around that way and then back down here. Is that a bit too stupid? Or do we just... Maybe we send them up this way. If we send them up this way, if we put like a split in the wall here, send them all up this way, make them do stuff over there, make them come back around, and then they can come back and do like an, can have another look at the same tank on the way back through, maybe. Maybe we do that. And then they come, so they go, they go around here, there's some tanks over here, we'll work that out, and then they come back down this way, and then down here. And then they can come down here a bit and then come back up. I think that, yeah, I think that's the way we do it. But yeah, money at the moment is um, a bit of a problem. So we're going to close. Oh, we can't close it off there, can we? Because of the staff door. We'll close it off there.
Um, we'll let, we're going to let this run through just because of the just because of the money situation, but. So I think maybe what we do again is, is we have a wall that kind of runs down the middle like this. We have a massive, massive tank in the middle over here. Some kind of big, maybe like a, maybe we could get our first polar dome in and put it over there. Maybe even have more than one. And then make them go around it and then come all the way back round. Because how big do these things get? And yeah, they get pretty big. So we could stick this one over that side. Put another one alongside it, maybe. Just bring them round and straight away, straight in, and off they go. Yeah, I think that could work. I think that maybe could work. Who's that Jim Miller? Hmm, okay. So I just for a moment, I wondered if she was the one that I thought I'd hired, but maybe not. Um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, this is just all going to be about money again, isn't it? So I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode here um, as like a little introductory one, but getting back into the groove. In the next episode, we are going to, uh, in between times, I'm going to run the game on a little bit longer so that we can get some money uh, in the bank. Because these are going to be... I mean, how much was one of these at full size? That's not too bad. 1,600. Um, we're going to have two of those in there. Um, there are obviously a fair amount of requirements that come with that. But it means we can get in our puffins and our ducks into into that exhibit, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, we'll bring... We'll make a wall sort of to come in there. And we'll u maybe use the arrows to force them and then come to come back around. And then they will go, <clears throat> we'll filter them down this way. You can hear my voice is going already. Um, we'll bring them down this way. We'll bring them around down here. And then we'll bring them back up this way. So that we'll have this middle area again will be just this one humongous area in the middle. Kind of like this, where everything goes on um, for all of our staff. And they've got fairly quick access um, everywhere that they need to be. Um, so yes, on the on the advice of my own voice and the fact that we need to now save some money again, um, I am going to end this episode here. Thank you very much everyone who's um, been patiently waiting for this one and the numbers have been reasonable uh, on this uh, playthrough so far. Rest assured, if there are any other further delays, if my voice decides to really disappear in the next uh, little while, um, rest assured that I am not going anywhere with this series. I am going to see this through to the end um and uh yeah we are gonna fill this one all the way until either we run out of fish or i run out of fps one of the two so thank you very much everyone make sure you like commenting and subscribing and we'll see you all in the next one